Hello there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is New Vegas Episode 10. Alright, when we left off, we had just gotten done talking to the NCR and dealing with Prim's lawlessness problem and talking to Malcolm. That dude, uh, snuck up on me. Don't really trust him, but, you know, whatever. Uh, next up on the list is going to the correctional facility and picking up that sheriff because I really prefer him over NCR rule to be perfectly honest rather have people here do the running than have you know it be run by people who don't know the problems you know like uh, I don't know America in the Middle East that sort of thing <laughs> social commentary that's that's what you're here for yeah I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, this is probably going to be a long little trek. So we'll have the pistol at the ready. Holy crap, I didn't realize I had that many rounds. Cool beans. I need to figure out how much all of this weighs, at least ammunition-wise. Uh, sometime when I'm not recording. So that way it's not boring for you people. <laughs> Whoop. What is that? Is he stuck in the ground there? I think he's... Oh, no. He's, he was just further beyond where I was. Okay. Well, we'll ignore that unless he comes after us. And just continue on. I don't like to follow the main roads usually because it just takes so much time. To just follow the roads to the direction you want to go. So I tend to just wander a little bit. I mean, it's not necessarily a good thing to do, but it's a thing you can do. And, oh, I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> just go over here. And, yeah, there's the railways. That's a quick way to make your way there. Uh, if I remember correctly. Where's my drink? There it is. Peach. Mango green tea. Good stuff. Good for your metabolism. Whoop. Shit. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's one down. Oh, shit. Come on, hit him. Okay, let's go now. There we go. That's it. That was quick. Reload and pick up the good stuff they have. Ammunition, dynamite. Uh, don't really need the pistol. The helmet I do need. That's always good. More dynamite. It's not the soldier outfit. Uh, it's not really pretty. Not a good look. Um, let's pair the trooper helmet up to there. That'll work. And there's a blip over there. I'm going to go see what that is. We'll get to that in a second. I want to figure out what the blip is. I don't really remember everything. Oh, it's that one little ta -da 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 camp for the Powder Gangers. So I think this is a southeast camp or something. South camp, something like that. Or is that southwest? That's probably technically southwest. South. So I was just battling for nothing. Same note as the other one. Some of the fellows farther north are trying to organize. We're starting to think it's a good idea. Got to pool resources if we're going to survive out here. Sure, you've noticed the, the decline in travelers. If they're getting wise, so should we. Fair enough. Let's see what I can pull from these guys. What's that? Lad's life. That's good always use that. 
So anything else? Pork and beans. Don't really need that. Got pre-war money. Carton of cigarettes. Good. And I think I'm just going to take a nap here. It sleeps good, right? Four hours should be good enough. That one snuck up on me. Good. Let's see. Gecko steaks. Yes, now we can make these. And now 19. That'd be good. There we go. Now we actually have a viable means of raising our food back up. Should we start running out? Oh. This is the... One of the guard towers for the correctional facility and my dehydration's increased shit let's see what I can do to fix that uh, I don't really want to do that but water will work for now and purified water there we go that should bring it down somewhat right let's look 50 better than it was okay Oop. I'm sure it has there we go. And that's always good. There's That's for a specific science recipe that we'll learn later. Not entirely remembering what that is, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Oh. Yeah, they're hostile to me right now. They do not like me, but if I put... Oh, wrong button. There we go. Put this on. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm dumb. Big old dummy dumb dumb. I'm gonna drop that since I don't need it anymore. And this is gonna be storming the gates. One less. Oh, come on. Aim. Ah. Ammo. What the? There you go. Alright, screw that. Oops. And powder ganger. Let's try and shoot that dynamite. There we go. That's the stuff. Oh, Dawes. Ooh, he has a. Oh, I want. Come on. This is Hubert Christ. I can't aim with more rifle shit anymore. Taking quite a few hits right now, so we'll uh, come on. use a stim pack. Take those, that, that, and uh, brass knuckles are nice. I'll take those, and I'll keep running right now until I get to the facility. Don't really need that. And here's where a little fight will get extra crazy. So I'm gonna swap to my 10 millimeter and take a couple headshots. Hopefully that does damage. Come on. There we go. What kind of hat is that? I've never seen that hat. That's unusual. Haven't seen that hat in normal gameplay, usually. There we go. I'm gonna pick that up. Old cowboy hat. That's never seen that before. Oh, yeah, I've never had this pop up either. Uh, in order to heal a crippled limb, you have three choices: sleep in a bed, find a doctor, or use a stim pack to heal yourself. And in hardcore mode, and since we're in this, you can only heal crippled limbs by using doctor's bags or by visiting a doctor for medical care. 
which we're going to have to do. Uh, stim packs can be used for general healing, which is also, which will also slightly heal crippling damage, or they can be applied directly to a limb to heal crippling damage. That's only for normal mode. To heal a crippled limb directly using a stim pack, that's not going to use it. That's not going to help us at all. In hardcore mode, you can only heal crippled limbs by using doctor's bags by visiting a doctor for medical care, which we already know. Okay, so we're going to do a real quick repair of the leg. All that good. Oh, hey, Anders. I I think that is his name. I'll take those rounds. Scrap metal armament rifle. Uh, take another pistol because we went through that. Oh, didn't want that at all. Ah, that's where you were hiding. <laughs> and off goes your head. Nice. Take that, that, and varmint rifle. Let's see what we can repair. Um, use a stim pack while we do this. Um, repair that with this. Uh, repair this with that. And, yeah, I think we're good. I don't need to repair that right away. And repair this with that. That'll work. I want to see how this old cowboy hat looks. This does... This looks very tacky. I don't like it. <laughs> it's worse than the, uh... It's worse than this. But, uh, I could... Drain down it condition enough to repair it to this one. What's that? Maybe you ought to worry about the guys trying to kill you. Um, they're not really trying to kill me now because they're all gone. But, uh, fine, whatever you say. I'm gonna open this, take those, take uh, Carrot would be nice. I'll eat the carrot. I could probably do to eat something right now. And I'll take those, and I'll take those. Nuka Cola's for selling, Sunset Sarsaparilla for drinking. That's always good, right? Right? Am I right? Yep. Cut that off. I don't need the copyright strike. Actually, speaking of which, I might turn down music uh, in future episodes because I keep getting copyright strikes. And I do apologize if you guys don't like that, but I, I do... Well, copyright claims, technically, not strikes. Strikes would be bad. Claims are... You know, I can dispute them. So I figured I'd let you guys know. Maybe you ought to worry there about is the no to one. Alright. Let's just screw that and... Go out and deal with the rest of them. Because he won't talk to me until they're all dealt with. Shouldn't have... Taking a swig while I was in danger mode. Okay, let's go over here. Be tactical about this. Whoop. Come on, put a bullet, a bullet or two in his head. There we go. Critical strike, and then off his head. The beans, the pistols, and the caps. Could use the goggles helmet to repair. Whoops, just realized that's still being worn on my head. Repair that. Could be wearing this though. That would help me reduce the condition of it so I can use it to repair later. Um. Come on, let me hit this guy. He's hitting me. Oh, peas. Just running around and letting me not be able to hit him. He's being very rude about this whole situation right now. Headshot, maybe? Yes! Okay, so I know where at least to hit. Come on. Ah, damn it. I suck at this. Ah, try to do a passing shot before he ducked away. Okay, let's switch the pistol for a little close range shooting. There you are. There we 
we go. That will work. Whew. That could have been bad really quickly. I'll take that for repairs later. And is there anything I can use here? Those I could use. Those I could use. Those are always nice. Eventually I'll switch to using the revolver exclusively and be breaking these down for parts for that. But until then, it's not going to be very soon because I don't really have a lot of ammo for it as of right now. Uh-oh. Let's just give it a little test run, shall we? It's not very accurate either. There's that. There we go. Off with your arm. Actually, you know what? I might actually switch to this after all. Take those and the farm rifle. And I will start selling 9mm pistols now, whenever I get them. Speaking of which, let's bring down the weight of those that I have and just start repairing them all together. There we go. It's a little less weight and I can sell them for more. That way, oops, speaking of which. When you are worried about weight, you can always repair them together to at least a minimal condition. So that way you can use them later to repair for even more, if need be. Okay, it's still not broken down enough, so we'll just deal with that later. I do need stim packs. That I do need, and I'm dumb and I forgot S is down here. Okay, so hopefully that does the job quickly. Where? Okay, there you are. Come on. Damn, it's not gonna work. Come on, I'm trying to shoot your legs here, you son of a bitch. Okay, this is not gonna work. See if we can take it off the bomb. Or at least damage it. Because it aims off. Okay, screw this. Not working out with the varmint rifle. So I'm just gonna walk up close. It's always a way to do it. Actually, let's give the old machete a little practice, eh? Yeah, there you are. Help! Down you go. All right, that works. Since I have plenty of armament rifles already, one up. Um, one on a stick, eh? Dirty water. Eh, I don't really like using it, but it will do. Three oh eight rounds, really? Now you had a sniper rifle though. All right, just do a little lap around because I'm a dingus, and I'm gonna just do the whole looting each guard tower on a different episode, or not even do it while filming. Explosives crate, it's good to have. And here, let me see what my stats at for. Ooh, kind of need a doctor's bag my stats at for repair 40. Okay, so we're going to do something real quick. If I can find the correct fixing things. There we go. And make some weapon repair kits. Deal with our weight a little bit there. Let's see, we're already down to 207. That was mainly all the weight we had for that. So, weapon repair kits are very good to make. And they're a quick way to repair your weapons, so you can, it's always good to have them. Always good to use them. Okay. Let's uh, walk in here a bit. Um, if I remember correctly, this is where the big wig of the place is. I had to take a swig. 
And actually, turns out we're pretty much near the end of the episode. So we'll do this in the next episode. Sorry for leaving it on a cliffhanger. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. You want to hear more of them and my illustrious wars. Click the like button if you like this particular video and you want to see more. And, you know, share, comment so I can talk with you guys and figure out what you guys want to see more of. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, signing off.